Hi folks, so this is about how do you set up your MetaMask wallet. I've simply gone into Google Chrome and typed in M-E-T-A-M-A-S-E -E MetaMask. You can do this in your browser of choice. You will land into this website called MetaMask.io. Let's see what the website says. It says, hey, it's a crypto wallet and gateway to blockchain apps and you see download for Chrome. Now, because I'm browsing through Chrome, it gives me the ability to have it as an extension. What you need to really understand is just like you go in and create an account on an exchange, a crypto exchange, you have a user ID, a password, there may be authentication processes externally for security as well. What you're essentially doing is you are trusting the exchange to store the crypto on your behalf. The exchange stores the crypto very similar to how the bank stores the money that you deposit into what is known as a hot wallet or a cold wallet. Now, without getting into the technicality, if we come back to the topic here, how would you go about doing MetaMask and what exactly it is? In MetaMask, you are not really trusting an exchange or a third party. So MetaMask is a decentralized software, which means you are the exchanger and you are creating an account for yourself. So you go in and click on download for Chrome and it will most likely ask me to go in and have this sort of an interface, which is the standard Chrome interface for downloading a plugin. I go click on add to Chrome, it says the permissions. Now see, read and change all your data on all your website, display notification, modify data that you copy and paste, fairly standard. I would go in and add it. Now MetaMask has been added, you see it's being downloaded here at the bottom. Now I'm just gonna go and let it launch. You see, welcome to MetaMask. This is a really cool animation that MetaMask has put on their website. So welcome to MetaMask, connecting you to Ethereum and the decentralized web, we are happy to see you here. We go in and click on get started new to MetaMask. So for most of you, if you do not have a MetaMask wallet ever that you have created in the past, you are going to go in and say here, Hey, I have nothing. Now this secret recovery phrase is what you will just see it gets generated. So if you already have a wallet that was created at some point in the time in the past, you can simply go in and import that secret phrase. And that is how it will authenticate that you are you. So yes, let's go create. We are going to pick this route here. This will create a new wallet and secret recovery phrase. I go create a wallet. It says help us improve MetaMask. It will always allow you to opt out via settings, send anonymized clicks, these permissions are there, never collect your IP address, uh, never collect keys, addresses, transactions and so on. Of course, you move ahead by agreeing everything. Now it says, hey, create a password. Now be aware this password is not the most important thing here. So I can go in and create whatever password I want. So I am going to do something which I think is strong enough. Always a good idea to have strong passwords. Okay, it says that the passwords don't match. So maybe I messed it up here. Awesome. So maybe I messed it the first one always happens when you're trying to record a video. Um, awesome. So I have read to the terms of use, I go in and say create now you see it says secure your wallet before getting started watch the short video to learn about your secret recovery phrase and how to keep your wallet safe of course you can go through it but the most important thing is like it's a 12 word phrase right now they say that you store the secret recovery phrase in your password manager and you can use whatever password manager you are doing it's really really recommended if i have access to your secret recovery phrase i could have chosen the other option that i saw on the first page and then pretty much I have access to all the tokens that you hold in your wallet. I could send it to anyone. I could do whatever I want to with it. So essentially the person who has your secret recovery phrase has control of everything that you have. So should I share, you see, never ever share your secret recovery phrase. Can't stress it enough, but you go in here and it says next. Now you see it says click here to reveal secret phrase, makes it easy to back up and restore your account. So in case, let's say I forget my password, even in that case, I can access my account. In fact, when you try logging in into MetaMask, the password that you just entered, that I just entered in the previous page is what they're going to ask me to authenticate temporarily. But if I somehow disable the extension, then they're just going to ask me enter the secret recovery phrase, then followed by the password. The password is an additional layer of security, but the real deal is the secret recovery phrase. Now you see, click here, I'll click and to reveal that says this thing, you will always, you may see your own version of secret recovery phrase. Of course, because I'm doing it publicly, I'm never going to store any wallet, uh, any tokens on this MetaMask wallet. It's just for the demo purpose. But let's say I go in and say, okay, I have copied it and I go in and say next. So for, for you to understand, it's very important that you go in and really copy paste and not in your notes. I would really, really not recommend doing it in your notes because you're putting yourself at risk. 
go use a password manager something on the lines of one password where you can simply dump it and rest assured that it's not really gonna get taken up but for now i'm just gonna say that okay i have taken an account of the secret recovery phrase now i go back to my chrome and say okay next now it says confirm your secret recovery phrase right like so you see i can't really copy paste here it's just saying it's a way of metamask asking you that you have really understood what the phrase was about so i'm going to say 100 discover blind moon tree fresh tail syrup i'll go back here and say 100 blind moon discover tail fresh syrup and then i'll come back again okay moon tree fresh tail syrup wealth dot sense hawk moon tree fresh tail syrup wealth torch sense hawk moon tree fresh okay let's start fresh so we are like 100 blind 100 discover blind moon tree discover blind moon tree then it says fresh tail syrup wealth fresh tail syrup wealth and then we go back again and we want to be right here torch sense and hawk it says hey torch sense and hawk now you see you confirm it it says congratulations you passed the test keep your secret recovery phase it's your responsibility tips on storing it safely we've already gone through this you can take your own time going through these and you can click on any of these links to learn more but simply put, now what has happened here? I have created my MetaMask wallet and if you see, it says zero ETH because of course I have not really done anything. A few things to note for you here, this that you see, this says like very nicely copy to clipboard is your wallet address that's there on MetaMask. So whenever someone goes and says, hey, could you give me your MetaMask address? This is the address they're asking for. You could simply click here and say, hey, this is the address. Now you see this drop down. This is the most important thing. So it says Ethereum mainnet. Now you can have any sorts of mainnet. Simply put, this is where exactly is, what exactly is your wallet on? So I could go in and create, add multiple networks here. And there are some custom networks that I can add. We would not get into any of those complexity. For now, if you're trying to deal with it, like there are these uh, test networks also, developers use a bunch of these test networks, but for simplicity, let's stick to whatever we see on the screen. It says there is zero, you can buy. So when I click on buy, you will say it says like there are some uh, integrations in place I could buy with any of these options or I could directly deposit ETH, which means if you have ETH on your exchange, you can simply go add this wallet address, send the way you send ETH to any other wallet and it will land here. Now send is simply very simple. Again, it will ask me which address you are trying to send to or you can go the QR code right route. Swap is more on the lines of that, hey, I want to swap this. So you see now it says MetaMask swaps just a whole lot smarter. Okay, this is something new. So it goes and talks about how there has been enhancement is showing me because I've already gone through it, but this is the first time we're launching it. So we say no. And you see here it says, which token do you want to swap with? So they allows you to swap it. Like I could go in and say that I want to swap it with Ape and you want to work. Like I want to go and swap two Ethereum with these many Apes and it will just say review swap. You can see everything that you have done. It will show you, confirm you, it will tell you that, hey, this is the gas fee and you could simply do it. And what's going to happen essentially is when you move ahead that you will start seeing the token here as well, right? Like the Ape token that you have converted and accordingly the number of Ethereum in your wallet goes down. But essentially uh, what can happen time and again is that you may really see, so this picture that you see, it says create account, import account, connect hardware wallet, support settings. It's simply saying that this is account one. I, I just talked about it. You could create multiple accounts. So I could go to my MetaMask and create one more account for that matter. And it will just stay there, right? Like, so I go here and say, okay, I want to create another account. And let's say I go and say, this is Vikram's, uh, Vikram's VIP account. Okay. And I go and I click on create. Now you see there, there is a option for me to change. So this, address will be slightly different from whatever I was just showing you here, right? You see there's 9A09A and when I go to my different account, 0495. So for the same secret phrase, for the same password, you can create any number of accounts that you want here. And like you could do a bunch of things around security and so on. What's really interesting is like you can go in and view the details of any of these accounts on Etherscan. This is what you can do for 
any address on any exchange. This is Etherscan, anything that if you have done on your wallet, it will show here. So because we have done no transactions, it shows nothing, but if you have done ever any transactions, there's been any activity on it, all of it can be seen on Etherscan, which is pretty great. Because if you, let's say, transfer funds and you want to track whether those funds have hit it or not, or you see something is wrong, you can go in and monitor the activities that have happened there. That is pretty much all you need to know for setting up your MetaMask. Uh, and I will simply go ahead and add some things here. Now, one thing which you should note is like this opened up in a browser, uh, as a browser tab, right? Like if I go in and close it, you remember we had downloaded an extension. So it should be here somewhere. And I would ideally go in and pin it. Now MetaMask shows up here and I can very quickly always access this. So I just click on here because I'm logged in. You see, it, it shows me everything. It's, it's just the simplest version of whatever we were seeing in the broader page. But, uh, and you could like totally go in and switch on these accounts from here, switch on all of your accounts, do everything that you could see there. I would not do anything if I'm a beginner at this point in time. But yeah, that's that's all that I've got to say. And you could like, if, if for some reason, whatever, you end up logging out, uh, you can always just enter your password and log back in. So it tends to happen, like if you do not do anything, MetaMask will automatically log you out. And in that case, you're supposed to enter the password that we just talked about and you're good to go. Uh, that's all folks in terms of how you go in and set up your MetaMask wallet. If sometime, next time someone asks you, do you have a MetaMask, just go and copy paste this address and send them, yes, here is it. All right, thank you, bye-bye.